What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 114. Holy shit, 114 episodes. Today, we're going to be talking about your theme of the year for 2022. And if you've been following along, you know that my new year already started. I consider December 1st as New Year's. We'll get into that here in a second. Each week here on Steve Says, this is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy your obstacles, preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. This is not always the things you want to hear, but it's definitely the shit that you need to freaking hear. Now, some people will hate, but most can be relate. But either way, we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Got you on multiple Screens across the social medias here. What's up? Uber Duber over on the Instagrams. So this is a a show focused on the mind, the body, the business. Specifically, Steve says, is the mindset. That's what this is about. It's the, the, the mindset video of the week. There's five different live types of live shows to do each week. One is on the mind. That's Steve says. One is on the body. That's Steve does. That's on Thursdays. Steve knows is about the business and sales and marketing and making money. And then there's the Russian and the Freak and Breaking the Cycle with the Two Little Freak Show Kids. This today is about having a role model mindset, how to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, action, being your freak self, making bold moves, taking big risks, and that's what this is all about. And today we're going to talk about your themes for the year. Now, do you have themes for the year? Do you? Each year I give my, I used to give myself a word of the year. Just a word of the year. And then it started being, all right, now I need a theme of the year. Then I would start with a theme of the year. So it could be a phrase, a saying, whatever you want to call it. Then it started being, all right, now there's a theme of the year plus three words of the year. And it just, the great thing about it is when you start crafting your year and saying how you want your year to play out, there's no fucking rules. You can set up however the hell you want it to set up. So this year I went kind of a little beyond what I normally do. So if I had to give an overall theme And just one little word or saying, this year, my theme is just slow down. Now, I'm going to break all that down for you and what goes into the slow down. But first, I'm going to review last year, last year's theme and last year's word. So last year's theme, and it was a two-part theme, just like there's a two-part theme to the year this year. Last year's theme was shut up and speak up. No one to shut up, no one to speak up. No one to... Hold your freaking tongue and know when when you need to speak up. And the words of the year last year were create, connect, and close. I needed to create relationships. I needed to create content. I needed to create experiences for the family, for the kids. Then it was connect. I needed to connect with more people. And then close. needed to close motherfucking deals. But not just close deals, literally. But close things all the time, each day. What didn't I close? What loops need to be closed for the day so it's not hanging over your head? And that was my theme, shut up and speak up with the words of create, create, connect, and close for the year. End of the year, I rated myself on those. First of all, I would rate myself on those every single day. I'd rate myself on all those every day, literally for the entire year of 2021. And then I consider December 1st my new year because I want a fucking head start. That's what I want. First thing I want you to do is, is realize that is... Don't wait till fucking January 1st to start thinking about setting goals for the year. You already started. By the time you figure that shit out, get things in motion, it'll be damn near February and you're a month behind. Let all the rest of the world sit and and take this month off and be all fat and happy and think about holidays and thinking that this is a slow time of year and slow this and that, all these other bullshit excuses while you fucking dominate, while you start creating shit and getting things done. Like if for whatever reason, it's a slower time for business. Some businesses, this is the busy season, but a lot of businesses, they call it the slow season. Second, you tell yourself, that December is a slow month or holidays are a slow season. You're going to wait till the new year. All you did is just gave up that fucking month. You no longer have 12 months in the year. You now only have 11. You've just banked that one in and you're taking that one off. That's bullshit. It's an excuse. Don't ever tell yourself there's a slow month of the year. Just like Black Friday. Is that Black Friday, yeah. When there's all the deals and people go overboard with their marketing and they have these massive, they make 40% of their revenue just on Black Friday. Like imagine if you went to every fucking Friday Considering it like Black Friday. Like, how successful you're just all you're doing on, on Black Friday is the shit you should be doing all the time in all areas of life. Think about doing that in your personal life, your professional life, not just waiting for those special occasions like fucking Christmas and New Year's, New Year's to set goals. 
for the to set goals for your life. Like set goals for your life every fucking day, every week, every month, every quarter. Or Christmas to go buy shit for people or be nice to people or fucking the, 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 the one with the heart, the red, the red heart day. Or all these other ones. Veterans Day. Memorial Day. All of a sudden, everyone's all fucking into the military. But you don't hear shit about that throughout the rest of the year. Support the fucking military all year round. That's what you need to think about holidays. And especially New Year's. Count, count your New Year's December 1st. My New Year already fucking started. My New Year already started. So, it, it's... So, you get a head start on the year in December. You're sitting there working, fucking attacking. Going all out, above and beyond during the month of December, counting that as a new year. The goals are already set. The goals are already in motion for the new year of 2022. 20 fucking 22 already started in this freak world. Fucking awesome shirt, right? From a good friend and project graduate, Isaac. Got me this shirt. Got me two of these, actually. A red one and a black one. Fucking awesome. Although I'm going to sue Nike for stealing my shit. Anyway, the theme of the year. So I, I, I had those themes of the year. I literally rated myself on those every freaking day for 20 if if i missed a day i'll say i missed five days max of not journaling not ranking myself on those in those different areas and then each week each week i would rate myself in those areas plus several other like literally 20 points system of five up to five points for a total of 100 and have my score for the week see what areas i need to improve in the weeks you're constantly having a score listen if you don't score shit in your personal life in your professional life imagine a basketball team the, the Knicks, even the Knicks fucking suck. I used to be a huge Knicks fan. I used to be a huge, huge sports fan. And I really don't watch any sports at all until the UFC this weekend. We went live in Vegas and it was just fucking awesome. Some some good stuff. And it kind of got me back into it a little bit. Seeing the the discipline and the passion and the intensity and the toughness and the the, the training that they go through. Like, gotta admire that shit. A- anyway, let's say there's a basketball team. The Knicks are going out there and playing. And they're just going to go play. They're going to play against the other team. They're playing against the Bulls. Not fucking Michael Jordan, though. But they're playing against the Bulls, and all of a sudden, they say, all right, the game's over. But there's no scoreboard. No one was keeping score. And you don't know what the fucking score is. How will you know who won? How will you know if you're winning? How will you know if you're doing well? How will you know what you need to change? Think about that. So you need to keep a score. You need to score yourself, rate yourself, judge yourself ruthlessly. And when in doubt, you're going to go down to the lower side. Like, on a daily basis, it'd be a ranking of one to five. For some reason, on the yearly basis, I did rankings of 1 to 10. I don't know what the, the, the thought process, that's just the way it clicked for me. I figured for a longer year, I wanted a wider spread. I don't know. To me, it made sense. But on a daily basis, it was a 1 to 5. Every single day, I needed to know where did I slip up? Where was I off a little bit? What do I need to get better for tomorrow? So it's constant progression, constant improvement every fucking day of the year. So I'd rate myself on those things. Last year was shut up and speak up. Create, connect, and close were my words of the year. Now... Just because that year is over doesn't mean that those words are done. All I'm doing now, it's like any other habits or or goals or whatever. It's fucking stacking. I'm keeping what I worked on last year because why would I just brush it off? I still need to improve. I was not satisfied with my scores for the year. I'm satisfied with the year overall. Awesome fucking year. Great year, 2021. But it's not like now I'm just going to disregard the shut up, speak up. Like that became ingrained in my fucking DNA. That's like part of me now. And the create and the close and the connect. That's just part of it. Yes, we need daily accountability and check your results and know what the hell the score is. Know if you're winning, you're losing. If you're failing, if you need to adjust, you need to adapt and overcome, figure out what you need to do. So I, I, th- th- you need to score yourself. Absolutely. But those, those words of the year and theme of the year for 2021, they're not gone. They're not disregarded. I will still now write those down every single day in addition to my new theme and words of the year. And it used to be a single word. It made it so easy. And now I'm just getting overboard and it's going to eventually be a whole fucking book I got to write down every day. But whatever. It's part of the game. It, it keeps drilling it in. It keeps you focused. Keeps you disciplined. Keeps you consistent. Keeps you on track. So this year, if like just like last year, it was shut up was the one thing that would trigger all the rest of that. And that led to speak up. This year, it is slow down. Now, as much as I, I, don't, I always say, don't slow down, don't stop, keep driving forward, all this other stuff is slow down. But slow down, and just like last year was shut up, and then basically I would write shut up, arrow, and then speak up. This year is slow down, leading to an arching arrow to speed up. 
because there is some stuff in between. I'm going to go over here in a second. The whole framework that's set up for my personal year. And you can use this idea to set up your own themes and words and framework. However the fuck, it's your life, your world, your theme, your year. You could judge it. You could create it however you want to create it. Just giving you some ideas of how I did it and you figure out what works for you. So this year is slow down. Slow down in what? Slow down when I'm fucking talking. Like right now, I probably should be slowing down a little bit. Once in a while at least. So it could sink in. So you could hear what the fuck I'm saying. You don't have to replay this in like half speed. Slow down in my thoughts because the mind could fucking run wild like a fucking hamster on a wheel sometimes. Slow down when I'm writing an email so that I can make sure it's clear and concise and getting the point across and not rushing it. Slow it down. Take more time in it. Slow down on my reading. Slow down on my journaling. Slow down on my meditation. Go slower. Slow shit down. Slow down so that I can have control so I could speed the fuck up and explode my framework for the year. That's my theme for the year. Slow down so I can speed up and fucking explode. Slowing down will allow me to have control of the thoughts of the situation of the energy so that I can speed up. Just like if you heard the military saying, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So sometimes you go slow in order to, to explode forward, to spring forward. To fucking explode. And that's the outcome is explode. Fucking explode. So slow down to have control of the situation, of your thoughts, of your energy. So that you can speed up and motherfucking explode in all areas of life. We're talking personally, professionally, with health and fitness. We're talking about all this. Yes, controlled aggression. Hell yes. Controlled aggression. That's what we're talking about right here. That's what slow down to to control, to speed up, to fucking explode. And listen, feel free to steal any of this. Feel free to think this way yourself this year. This is just my personal theme of the year. That led me to the words, my other words of the year, were strategize, weaponize, and maximize, which then will lead to the the byproduct of monetize. So first, strategize. What is strategize? Strategize is slow down. Strategize is to plan, prepare, be ready for fucking anything, be ready for the invasion, be ready for whatever the fucked up world throws at you every day. Be fucking prepared for anything. That's what strategize is. Everything has a strategy. And that's going to give control. This is all intertwined in my own fucked up web of a brain. And that that now that strategy of slowing down, the strategy of slowing down is going to give control So then everything can be weaponized, even negative situations, bad things, bad fucking things that go on, no matter what, as bad as you think it is, it can be weaponized. You can use anxiety as a weapon. I use anxiety as a weapon. You can use not being a people person as a fucking weapon. You could use your fucked up childhood as a weapon. Everything can be weaponized. I'm going to fucking weaponize the fuck out of everything this year. Everything is a weapon. Discipline is a weapon. Energy is a weapon. Whatever it is, it can be weaponized so that you can maximize every situation, which maximize is basically leading to monetizing. And that's the whole framework and flow that I'm, I'm working with this year. So what's your theme of the year? What are your words of the year? How does your framework work? What's your fucking web of a brain tell you for this year? What is it? And you should have it. And then you judge yourself on this shit on a daily fucking basis. So I now judge myself on this every fucking day. I still write down my stuff from last year so it stays with me and it doesn't go anywhere. So I still know when to shut up, when to speak up. I still think of creating and connecting and closing from last year. That's going to stick with me. It's like, bang, that's like fucking automatic. But it's still going to stick with me. Still write down, it's still gonna be journaled on, still gonna be written, I'm just gonna write on write about it. I'm still gonna judge myself on this and rate myself on this and score myself on this. But now I'm gonna add in slowing down, control, speed up, explode. Did I slow down enough today so that I can have control? I don't know how I'll score it yet. I, I've been kind of playing around with the scoring each day. If I'm gonna score it as a whole, as a system, as each word, because I'm kind of playing around with that, and it's my, it's my fucking year. It's my motherfucking year. It's my motherfucking theme. It's my words. It's my framework. It's my fucking life. So I could change it every fucking day if I wanted to. This wasn't even my original words for the year. My original words for the year was just slow down as the theme. And the words were focus, build, and explode. And it changed to strategize, weaponize, and maximize. Which basically is 
the same as focus, build, and explode. Before that, it was thought that I was I would play around with it. And this stuff you need to journal on and think about and, and write on and meditate on to come up with what's going to get you from where you are to where the fuck you want to be. Like, what's going to get you there? Let's see the synergy between war and peace rather than work-life balance. I like it. I like it. What? Work life balance is bullshit. Work life balance is like a, is a myth. Like, I don't I don't want to be at work in my in my business in my money in my bank account. I want to be fucking balanced. I don't want to be balanced. I want to fucking explode with my family. I don't want balance with my family. I don't want to be a balanced personal life. I want a fucking fulfilling, a satisfying personal life. I want work life satisfaction. I want work life fucking discipline. I want work. Life fulfillment, work life synergy, as you just put the word there. Perfect, fucking awesome word. Love it. Work life synergy, work life fucking domination. I want to dominate on the work side. I want to dominate on the life side. I want to dominate personally, dominate professionally, not fucking balance. There's no such thing as balance. And there's a time you absolutely need to be unbalanced. There's a times in business where you got to fucking grind out. There's a time in family you got to fucking grind out and unbalance it one way or the other. You have to fuck balance. I don't, balance to me in my head means. Average, ordinary, basic. Balanced is like fucking making fifty or eighty thousand dollars a year. Not what I'm looking for. It's just not for me. Maybe that is. If that's if that works for you, that's all cool. I'm not looking for fucking balance. Synergy is really the word. Work life synergy. Work life fucking explosion. Yes, there is no such thing as balance in life. If you want to evolve, no fucking balance. That's why it's ex- fucking explode. I love the word. It's going to be some explosions this year. Fucking explode, motherfucker. That's what I'm looking for. That's my theme. It's slow down to explode. Slow down to have control, to speed up, to motherfucking explode. Hell yeah. Shit gets me. See, thinking that that's what your theme needs to do for you. It needs to fire you up. Like when I wake up first thing in the morning, I have my mantras. It's, it's literally hitting the alarm, not until after I'm already on my feet, blood is flowing, turn, then turn the alarm off. No such thing as leaning over, turn off. No such thing as sitting up, sitting down, and turning the alarm off. I'm not even talking about snooze. The snooze. I mean, I'm sick of hearing about the, 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 the don't snooze anymore. Like, get over that shit. If you already have to be told don't snooze, fucking just bash your head against the wall and, and I don't know, go push shopping carts somewhere or something. Fuck that. It's like, I wake up, I tell myself my mantras, today is fucking awesome. Life is fucking awesome. I am fucking awesome. Today, I am going to create, connect, and close. I'm going to make no excuses, accept no excuses. I'm going to bring the motherfucking fire every second of every second. And now I'm adding in, slow down, to have control, to speed up, to fucking explode. I am going to fucking, I'm going to strategize, I'm going to weaponize, I'm going to maximize and monetize every freaking opportunity and situation that this fucking day brings me. This is what I'm telling myself in the head. Imagine, how could you not get fired up? When you go to sleep at night, how could you not sleep well knowing you're going to wake up and be thinking like this and operating like this and your themes and your words need to fucking pump you up the same way, need to fire you up. You need to light a fire under your ass. That's motivation. That's internal motivation. Not having some external forces to motivate you. Learn to motivate yourself with your own fucking thoughts, your own goals, your own actions, your own fucking discipline, your own energy, your own confidence, your own actions, your own freak fucking self. Like, learn to do that. You need to have those themes of the year. You need to have those words of the year that are going to fucking light a fire under your ass. Get your ass up early in the morning. And not have to worry about uh, sleeping in or having motivation. Or I'm not a morning person. Like, shut the fuck up with that shit. I'm not a morning person. Like, how fucking stupid is that? A morning? What the fuck's a morning person? Like, I used to tell myself I'm not a people person. Like, what a little bitch move. It's just a fucking excuse. It's all I was doing was making excuses. Or I'm not a morning person. I don't like this. I don't like that. Man, quit being a little bitch. Like, it's all I could say. Get the fuck up and get after it. If you think you're going to have anything more than average, anything more than ordinary, you're planning to make a fucking dollar or two, get the fuck up and get after it. And it starts with having some of these mantras, having some of these themes and words of the year and goals of the year that fucking fire you up, that bring out your freak fucking self. Like that's what you need to make it happen. So put down there in the comments, what are your goals of the year? What are your, what's your theme of the year? What are your words of the year? What's your framework of the year? That's going to get you from where the fuck you are right now to where you want to be a year from now. What's that? Put it down in the comments. Let me know. 
If you have any questions, need any help in this stuff, just reach out. We'll hop on the phone. We could talk about it. And, and as you know, if you want information about the project, it's a men's personal development program held here in Southern California. Reach out. We'll hop on the phone for an interview call to see if you are a good fit to join the Modern Day Night Brotherhood of the project. It's a four-day personal development event held here in Southern California. Or if you need any additional coaching for you, your team, there are so many different coaching options. We could tra- we travel around the country to work with you and your team on leadership, teamwork, communication, problem solving. Let's talk about it. Or maybe you need some higher end one-on-one coaching from anywhere in the world. Let's talk. We are here to fucking help you out in your mind, your body, and your fucking business. It starts with this right here, these mantras, these themes, these goals, these words. So what are yours for the year? Put them in the comments. Send me a private message. Send me an email. I want to hear about what is your framework for the year. What's going to make you wake up full of fucking fire every single day and hop out of bed and we're just full of energy. None of this, I'm not some morning person bullshit. Let's talk about it. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.